Everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays uh, RimWorld. That's what we're playing today, right? <laughs> Apologize. Um, I've been playing a lot of, or I've been kind of doing a lot of Dark Souls recently, or Dark Souls 2, I should say. So uh, I've been kind of like doing a lot of recordings of that, so I'm a little bit off into what the fuck I'm even playing at this point. Add that to the fact that I'm kind of really on low sleep, and um, this is almost kind of shaping up to be like the last episode that we uh, did it for RimWorld. That was like a few days ago I recorded for that, and I was under the same... Uh, I guess, uh, lack of sleep. What do we have here? Ryan failed to recruit Paul. 1% chance. So, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, Bit, our last prisoner that we had, has been renamed to Paul the Viewer. I believe two people asked me to be renamed as Paul. So, um, I guess you guys could share them. I mean, I'll, I'll make another Paul when we get down the line. But for now, you can imagine if you're the Paul that's later on in the line. You could imagine this is you right here. This, uh, voluptuous, uh, I guess, uh, what is this? Like a Native American of some sort? Or an African American male? Whatever it is, man, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we all come from different sizes, different colors, right? So, <laughs> either way, though, um, welcome back. And, um, how are we doing over here? Um, I've been basically knocking down... Alright, it seems that we got this, um, metal out of the way. Let me go ahead and add a stone wall right there in its place. Basically, what I've been doing right now is just replacing or knocking down whatever I see metal. And then just replacing it with the actual stone. Um, with the actual stone, um, I guess material that we could use. So, let me go ahead and continue that one right there. Pretty good. And we could kind of speed this up now. And as for the mods, we have a few good set of mods going on over here. Uh, I'm really interested to get these, uh, I guess, wind farms. I apologize for that. For some reason, I thought I heard, like, a cricket in the middle of the day. But it's just the, uh, the sounds of RimWorld, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I'm a little bit of lack of sleep, so I'm a little bit, um... My, uh, I guess my judgment and whatnot is not really the best right now. But, I mean, looking around the base, I do see that everything is just about right. Uh, the only thing is that this door is not closing here. I thought that what I did over here by building these outside walls would kind of close it. But I think, if anything, we might have to build ourselves, like, a... I guess a, um, a power conduit, right? That's the only way to probably reach it, because otherwise, it does seem like this door is not going to close, meaning it's going to basically, uh... Waste away. So let me see if I was to do that. Uh, this is kind of like only a an idea that's gonna probably fail. But let's assume that I am uh, right for once, and let's see if this works out for us. We do have a shit ton of metal. Uh, they're setting up the metal for that power conduit right there. So we'll, we'll see if this door closes. If it does, then um, I was right. If not, then I was wrong. And you know what? It's uh, very likely that Falcon is normally wrong anyway. Um, well, the door is still show. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I was able to figure it out. Apparently, we just needed a power conduit. You know, for as much as I play this game, there's sometimes things that kind of just go over my head. Like, you know, sometimes when people will be like, Falcon, how come you haven't done this? And I'm kind of like, oh, you're right. How come I haven't done that? Uh, speaking of what else I haven't done is that I, I do believe that this over here isn't connected to anything, right? I mean, all this is basically powering up this one turret. So this must be the most amazing turret of all time. So let's actually go ahead and... Um, Fix this scenario here by adding a power conduit right through there. Okay, and that'll connect it to this wall, and then that'll pretty much power up these uh, batteries over there. I did knock down these extra batteries the last episode. Or one of the last episodes, anyway. Because, number one, I was um, making foolish decisions because of my sleeping state at the moment. But at the same time, I did knock them down, but I forgot to actually set up the proper batteries and whatnot. But at least for now, it does seem that they are all linked up. Let's make sure that everything is uh, good to go, though. Power conduits, okay. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me, man? I was like, hmm, why isn't that being charged? And that's because there was a faulty electrical circuit right over here. How convenient, right? The moment that we actually get that built, this happens. That is part of our home region, though, so um, our dudes should wake up at some point or another to kind of go fix that. Hopefully sooner than later. And by the way, that's actually spreading into our, uh, our pump station over here, which is uh, not good. Uh, somebody take care of the fire on the pump station first, and forget about the ones around it. Guys, get the pump station one first. Get the pump station one first, Mangina. I'm not a people person. Anybody? <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's been fixed now. Um, again, this is telling me that we really need to, um, I guess invest in kind of making this whole metal situation over here so it doesn't happen again. Um, especially with so many power conducers over here, so it's probably probably wise that we do that now, right? I mean, we could probably do stone tiles, but no, I mean, we're kind of low on stone, quite honestly. So, uh, metals what we do have a lot of, so let's just, for the meantime, just uh, spread this all out into metal. 
I don't think we have to kind of get the outside edge. For now, we can just do what's inside of the base itself or inside of this little area so that fire doesn't spread in there directly. So I guess that'll kind of keep it away for now. Um, our food front, we're at 304 now. Uh, one of the things I did last episode was actually cut off the meals from this, and a few of you viewers and commenters have told me, it's like, hey, Falcon, you know what? Um, the meals consume a lot of food, and I, you're right. I've realized that myself, so that's the reason why I've cut off meals. Um, but uh, overall, in terms of food, I mean, it, we're not great, quite honestly. Like, it, 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 we're, we still have a lot to do in terms of that. Uh, I have somehow 16 colonists idle, which is really an impressive feat, quite honestly. 18 colonists idle. <laughs> Apparently, when you have just about everything said and done, it's like just a waiting game at this point. Really? 16 colonists idle? They have nothing to do? Are You You gotta be kidding me, right? They, they gotta have something to do. I mean, what about this low food supply that we have going on there? Can they do that? No, they probably can't do that. But you know what I've realized? Um, we have a really big... um portion over here of berries that we could probably harvest so let's go ahead and mark all this stuff for harvest and whatnot um is that it yeah that's pretty much it right here nothing else over there nope so i might have to actually send out a few of these guys to kind of harvest all this stuff here because i'm noticing quite a few of these things over here and it's kind of like yeah you know what might as well i mean especially since we have like you know 179 people over here just idle apparently they're not idle enough to uh not eat though they can't skip a meal oh we're not idle for that falcon i mean we'll, we'll eat every single fucking moment of the day but in terms of work, eh, you know, I don't want to do it. That's what happens, man. You build these guys the perfect utopia, and unfortunately, they just want to stop working for you. So uh, there's a little bit of cutting to do right there already. So I I've marked a lot of places to be uh, cut. So um, whether that's a good idea or not, it's probably not, but, you know, whatever, man. Uh, we have so many goddamn colonists, it's ridiculous, quite honestly. <laughs> um... I really would like them to actually start filling up this uh, paste dispenser with this food. It doesn't seem like they're actually doing that. I, I feel also like I need like a bigger, I guess, uh, deposit area for my food. That's actually one of the reasons why our food fell pretty low to begin with. Is that we just had absolutely no way for us to actually um, store the food that we were uh, getting excess of. Because it wouldn't fit in the nutrient paste dispenser anymore. So uh, let's actually add a zone. A stockpile zone, I imagine. And I guess for... Uh, I wanted to keep it in the kitchen area, but let's make this kind of like our backup stockpile. Or how about we just make a little room as a backup stockpile, right? Kind of give it that extra feel. Or how about this over here? This seems like an okay spot. I mean, it's actually, no, it's kind of far away from the food. We want to keep it nearby so that they can kind of use it in an emergency. Um, I guess the stockroom idea would have been nice, but, well, how about over here? So let's set this all up as a stockpile for food. And, uh, let's see, we're gonna make this foods, meals, and raw, well, what kind of raw are we talking about? <laughs> uh, I've heard that one before, right, ladies? Uh, no, I never have, quite honestly. I'd be okay, I feel kind of intimidated if so a chick actually came up to me, it's kind of like, yeah, I want it raw, I'd be like, wait a minute, what are you talking about right now, woman? Uh, muffalo meat got moved over here from the, uh, nutrient, well, not from nutrient, from the actual hopper, which is kind of interesting. Kind of a weird decision to make, but why that is, I'm not entirely sure. I thought the hoppers actually cooked meat. I guess they don't now. I was under the impression they would, though. Alrighty, so, let's see, my guys are just moving the food right into the nutrient paste dispenser. The thing is that we basically just go through, like, uh, food like crazy, because we have so many people is the problem. I, I think we need, like, an even bigger... Um, <laughs> fucking, uh, I guess, uh, hydroponic section, quite honestly. And, um, you know what? Let's actually do that. How about we do that right now? Uh, we could probably even afford to move, um, the comms console away from all this clusterfuck here. As a matter of fact, let's actually move it, oh, let's say, I guess over here. I mean, we do nothing else over here anyway, so let's just move the comms console over in this side. And as soon as they build that, I'll knock this one over and we'll expand this down this way, essentially. And hopefully in the process we don't bring down any walls on us and whatnot. Is somebody still sleeping on the floor? It, I think they are. I, I thought we have more than enough rooms for everybody. Do we not? Is that really the case right now? Deconstruct Shook's bed. Yeah, Shook, you go and sleep in a room, bro. We have enough food. Alright, enough room, I should say. Not enough food. Enough food we don't have, quite honestly. But room we do. So let's go and deconstruct this now. Wow, a lot of our people are actually doing growing, which is quite impressive, and 
We have 435 food now, so uh, we got a pretty decent harvest, that's for sure. Um, so let's go now and actually, uh, where is my furniture is what I'm looking at for it, yeah. And let's go and do uh, hydroponics, or hydroponic basin, down through there, there, there. And I guess there will do, and then we could do another one like this. Uh, I'm not too crazy, by the way, of all these hydro... <laughs> ponics over here. I think it's almost about time for us to get even get rid of these solar generators over here. I don't think we even need those anymore. Um, they're just kind of being a pain in the ass of anything. So yeah, let's actually deconstruct these. We have more than enough uh, solar generators down here and um, we also have all this power coming in through this section over here. So I really don't think we need that. And by the way, let's actually cancel that right there in the middle. Good. Okay. So I definitely do believe that we are good in terms of uh, these uh, solar generators right there. Now just add some hydroponics in that place and then um, we'll get a little bit more of uh, building disconnected. What is disconnected now? The, oh, the deuterium paste dispenser is disconnected. Well, that's fine. I could always build myself a little power conduit to it considering we have uh, all the batteries in the world in its place. And let's deconstruct this and uh, furniture is the other thing that we need. And we can do hydroponics right about there. Deconstruct the sleeping spot and uh, hydroponics right about here. Okay. And that'll extend it down a bit, and then we'll just add a few lights. And Jesus Christ, Dark uh, Rim World is so loud right now. Let me actually lower the volume here momentarily. God damn, that was um, crazy thunder strikes right there. Alrighty, so um, let's also add another sun lamp right about here. Should pretty much take care of most of this, I would imagine. Right? Is that how it works? We have one, three spot, and two spot, and let's say, yeah, I think that'll probably do it for most of it. Or maybe this will do it for most of it, or maybe this. I wouldn't say this right here. So let's just build that one, and I think that should pretty much light everything up. And there you go. So we're going to have a bigger hydroponics section. Um, obviously, because we have so many people, so it's like we, we need a lot of food to be growing at all times. I just don't think that basically the reason we were also failing other than not having the proper dumping area for is that the fact that we have so many people, so every time they go and grab a meal, they're grabbing quite a big chunk load, considering we have, like, fucking a fuck ton of people, quite honestly. That's fine, man. I mean, it's almost like another challenge in itself. Uh, I like how they're bringing the food over there instead of just bringing it into the hopper. <laughs> it would make it a lot easier for you guys. Uh, raiders have landed nearby. And um, what is this? A local squirrel has gone mad. So, raiders and a squirrel. I detected a cargo item. And, hey, we actually recruited Paul. Did I miss that somehow? Paul, are you, uh, are you cool, man? Where's Paul at? Paul's a miner, which is going to help us out a bit. So, firefighting one. Uh, mining, let's obviously make that a one. Plant cutting, maybe like a two or so. Hauling, like a three. Cleaning a four. If you have the time to build, you could do that as like a two or something like that. And then growing. Uh, I feel like I should probably, considering we have a bigger, wide array now, we should probably get a few more extra growers in its place, right? So let's go and get, a uh, um, Moldad. How do you feel about, uh, doing some growing, Moldad? Uh, you're a two right now, and you have some hauling going on as well. What about these individuals over here? Well, these are miners, so I should probably leave that alone. Ricky the janitor. Not a really good eye. Well, Ricky the janitor. Ricky Desmond's definitely a cleaner. He's a janitor, man. He can't move that around. Uh, growing Edward. Eh, not really that great at it. Uh, Ju uh Guinea the surgeon. Well, he's our hauler, dude. So let's actually go and give... Well, Gino's a miner, so I do want to keep that up and running. So I guess growing, we'll switch this over to uh, I'm Not a Quack, along with Moldad as well. Let's get a few more extra growers, essentially. So that'll kind of hopefully even this out over here. And are we getting enough um, light over here? We totally are. Now, my dudes are kind of hanging out over here. Where is the raid? The raid is down over here. And then Gino is kind of in the middle of nowhere fighting that crazy squirrel. So Gino, you got this, man? Come on, Gino, it's just a goddamn squirrel. All right, there you go. Good job, Gino. Now, um, our dudes want to go cut, which is fine. I, I mean, I, I appreciate their uh, their ability to do so, but I'd rather have you not trigger the raid right now, Gino. So let me just actually go and have you go up there for some reason. And then Mangina. Mangina's going to go over here and do something. What are you trying to do, Mangina? Oh, he's going to do the cutting as well. Okay, so that's going to have to kind of stop right now. So let me do uh, orders and just cancel all this for now. 
At least until the uh, raids are out of the equation right now. And I, let's see, are there any more cutting to be done around here? In case there is, let me just do that. Mangina, let me go and give you a different ability now in Gino. Go somewhere else, go do something else. Somewhere else, man. Yeah, there's a little bit of food over here. Hey, uh, Gino, you want to go and uh, grab this? I mean, if you guys want to grab some of this food over here, like berries, that would be pretty good considering our current uh, <laughs> situation with food. So, Gino... Uh, haul those food, uh, potatoes away. And then I'm not a people person. Oh, I'm, I'm not a people person. I didn't even have to tell him what to do. He's coming directly to pick that up. Ricky Desmond is going to go over here and apparently just look at the, uh, item that he... I had him want to, I guess, cut beforehand, but now he's not going to do it anymore. And that's reserved by Batman. So, okay. Batman's going to come over here and pick up these berries. And how is our food situation now? Growers get to growing, man! Now, why isn't this, uh... Well, it's getting proper lighting. It just looks darker than the rest for some reason. Okay. And, uh... Let's see. How is this raid? Ah. That's... <laughs> come on, guys. Considering how many people we have in our base, that's kind of really foolish. It's not gonna really accomplish anything. You guys, you need like a... You need like a raid of like three... Like three raids together, just grouped together to kind of at least bring us down at this point. Uh, however, I shouldn't be too cocky, because, you know, any slight, any slight moment something could really terribly happen. Like us all starving to the having to rely on cannibalism one another. I guess that's the reason why they added cannibalism to the game. So, um, they're going to be coming down from this portion, which isn't that bad. But you know what's bad? Moldad being outside is bad, because Moldad is going to be in, uh, kind of be in trouble here. So, Moldad, how about you, um, drop that and go and hide back here. <laughs> and then, hopefully they ignore you. And then, yeah, these guys, you come inside. And, uh, is this powered up? No, it's not. So let me go ahead and, uh, turn on my turrets. Okay. And here they come, and I really have absolutely no hope for these guys surviving, quite honestly. But, um, I guess we could essentially go into the, uh, military positioning for some of these guys. Not all of them, but some of them, I suppose. So you guys come and hang out back over here. Oh god, our turrets are about to do some crazy work right now. Look at this, man. <laughs> oh, dude, dude with the uh, mohawk would be pretty sweet to catch, though. Oh god, this is like a massacre. I like how Shux is over here, he's like picking up food, and Edward is gonna walk through the uh, middle of the gunfire. Edward Rosen, uh, I think it's Edward Rosenberg, apparently has the biggest balls of all time. He's kind of like, yeah, I know there's a little war going on over here, but fuck that. Uh, Edward, I really need you to get behind cover, and you too, Herb. You guys are crazy. You guys are gonna get hurt by, you know, being crazy. So you go back over here in Guinea, can you do the same thing, please? I'd rather not have you guys, uh, die right now. Uh, Paul, Paul, oh, Paul doesn't even have a weapon, my bad, Paul. Let me hook you up with this, uh, FN foul right there. ADD, where are you going, crazy man? You hang out over there, dude. And let's see. We have so many people, this is like, uh, almost a chore to actually kind of, uh, I guess keep everything under watch. Bro kick, let me move you over here for now. Raiders are fleeing. Yeah, I don't blame them fleeing. Look at this shit. All right, there's still like a, a few of them over here, quite honestly. Uh, Danielle is still hanging out over there. How about we bring Moldad out of hiding now, though? And Moldad, let's see if you could catch anybody. Like, see if you could cut them off. And let's see. We have at least one more dude over there. Duster. Duster the salesman. Alrighty, so you guys could uh, pretty much unmilitarize at this point. And I guess same for you guys. You could go ahead and unmilitarize as well. And did our turrets go down? Nope. Only one of them went down. Well, one of them's still actually up. It's on fire, but it's up. Uh, kind of sounds like uh, gonorrhea, quite honestly. Yeah, it's on fire, but it's still up, baby. So, Moldad, let's see if you could uh, catch any of these individuals here. Danielle is uh, at 100, and then you have... Uh, Abbott the O. So let's see you, Moldad. I, let's go for Danielle. Or actually, no, you already heard uh, Abbott, right? So let's just keep firing at Abbott. Ah, oh, Moldad. You got him a few times, man. You tried. So there you go. Run off and do your thing over there. Alrighty, so another good successful raid, uh, obviously. At this point, it feels like um, we're kind of uh, a little bit overpowered, quite honestly. Uh, that was really terrible display. Like, I mean, it was a terrible display because the Raiders had absolutely, like, no chance. I mean, half of my guys were still literally working during that whole raid. So, I, I guess it kind of goes to show how powerful we really are right now. Uh, Rose, can you move out of the way so I could kind of catch, uh, get, 
yeah, do that. Highlight everybody over here. Thank you. Actually, god damn it, Boomrad. Uh, let's just do that. Here comes the Boomrad again. It's kind of like, hey guys, what are you doing? It's kind of like Boomrad. I'm trying to highlight everybody right now so we can actually pick them up. Oh. Hey, Falcon, how are you doing? It's like, Boomrad, I already told you what I'm trying to do. Move out of the way, man. Okay, so Krabs is fully healed. I wasn't even aware that Krabs got hurt. I can't believe that any of our people get hurt at this point. Okay, so fire's over there. No big deal. And let's see. Everything around here seems to be pretty much taken care of, though. So. Um, I guess I could have him go and cut this down now that um the raid is pretty much over with, but eh. I guess it's not really that big of a deal. This agave over here, I guess we could pick that up. Might as well. Alrighty, so our food again is quite low. Our food goes low really, really fast, man. Like, <laughs> even if we have all this uh, food to harvest over here, it just kind of goes by really goddamn fast. I don't understand it. Why are they eating raw food when there's uh, the dispenser over here? Dispenser, why aren't you working? Hmm, dispenser, why aren't you working? That's a really good question, as a matter of fact. Power conduit. Hey, you're connected, man. You're definitely connected. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that's not working, but it, it should be. Uh, let me actually turn off the turrets now that we don't need them, as a matter of fact. Alright. That works out pretty good. Now, uh, guys, you should probably get to growing, considering I have so many growers, get to growing, considering that we are running out of food really, really fast again. No, Broke is going to actually just clean around the food. Alright, put it in the hopper, guys. Yeah, there you go, see? Warm meals. That's all good. Oh, God, we're not nearly bringing enough of the haul of food in terms of, uh, to actually keep up what's going on over here. Wait a minute, what? I'm not a gave up. Why? Mental break soon. Moldad, what is your problem? Why are my dudes going nuts over here? Observe corpses? Oh, well, I mean... You absorb corpses because we just handled a bunch of corpses. I mean, it's kind of out of our control, right? Alrighty, Guinea, you're gonna have to, um... Unfortunately, arrest. I'm not a people person over here. Not sure what his problem is. There you go. Thank you, Giddy. What's going on, not a people person? Why? Why the sudden uh, betrayal of the colony? You know what? We might have to rely on cannibalism soon, and you don't want us to start with you. I'm not a people person. <laughs> and either way, maybe we should call it an episode here now. Uh, rock you like a hurricane. Our food is up to 467, but that's really not nearly enough. What it should be, quite honestly. We need a lot more food. Um, I'm not sure how to do it, man. I guess I could expand the hydroponic section a bit more. I guess it's gonna have to come down to that, because otherwise, uh, we are really, I guess, kind of tipping the threads of, like, you know, going extinct here, or at least uh, having to turn to cannibalism. But either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, I encourage you to click that thumbs up button. The support really does mean a lot. And other than that, I will catch you next time.